Hello Leo, this is your February forecast. Leos, there's a lot happening in your opposite sign this month, Aquarius. And when there's a lot happening in the opposite sign for you, this means it's going to trigger your relationships. And Aquarius really wants you to try to do things differently. Now, you're a fixed sign, Aquarius is a fixed sign, you usually each like to have your own way. There isn't a terrible lot of give and take, although I have to say, Leo and Aquarius is very often a wonderful match for a very long-term loyal marriage, I must say. So, Aquarius energy. It's wanting you lovely Leos with all this energy in the heavens for you to just be the individual that you are, to allow your eccentricities out, to allow yourself uh, to do things, you know, with a bit more panache. I mean, Leos, you do things that way anyway, but just let it all come out more. Yes, that um, individuality of yours, that way of thinking about things differently, coming up with new ideas that you've not thought of before. That's what's being triggered with the aspects this month. Because we start off on the 8th of the month with a lovely new moon here happening in your seventh house of relationships. So wonderful time. This can bring a new relationship into your life. It can renew an existing relationship, can brighten it all up again. And it's an opportunity really for you just to um, uh, do anything that really can refresh your relationships. It's really like pressing the refresh button on your browser. It's like, oh, everything is new and uh, all kinds of new updates have happened in that meantime. So really update the way you look at your relationships, the way you are in your relationships, because that new moon will give you a lovely new opportunity um, to bring something fresh and more inspiring into all of your relationships. Um, We've got a lot happening, as you can see, particularly for the first couple of weeks of the month, in this sixth house of work. Now, because Pluto has been squaring Uranus and is still squaring Uranus, um, uh, many of you have had a lot of soul searching connected with your work area. Yes, um, uh, just lots of transformational things happening with work or maybe with your health. Lots of things maybe that you've had to change, maybe you've had to uh, change your diet, maybe you've had to change the way you exercise, maybe you've uh, started to learn more about health and you're really interested in complementary medicine, maybe energy medicine. These aspects here are really pushing you towards that, especially if it's an area that you really enjoy. And certainly with Venus and Mercury together, most of this month really, they're, they're really close to one another. So this is great for good communications at work, harmonious conversations, really good time uh, for socialising as well. You may find that uh, people from work are nice to socialise with the odd time, but as well, particularly the first couple of weeks in the month, um, there could be some good news about a work situation. On the 14th of the month, we've got Mercury going into this uh, relationship house and on the 17th, uh, Venus joining. Yes, I got that in the right order. So um, this is beautiful for bringing harmony into your relationships, for bringing a romance into your life, uh, for bringing romance into all of your relationships. You know, you can have romance with a friend, yes? You can bring that sparkle. You know, when you see a friend that you just love, it feels so uplifting. And this is this uplifting energy that you've got going on for you this month in everything connected with relationships. And that can be a marriage, it can be an intimate relationship, it could be a business relationship, um, could be a consultant, you know, somebody you see. All that is really under wonderful aspects for you this month. On the 20th of the month, we've got the Sun going into your 8th house, uh, joining Neptune there. And the Sun in the 8th house, this is a wonderful time for taking some quiet time out because it's going to be busy with relationships. There's no doubt about that this month. Um, 
quiet time. Um, it also could bring you with Neptune there. Um, it could bring you some good news connected to uh, some kind of an investment, uh, maybe that you've you've had for a while. It's like ah, something's coming to fruition for me. It will be also a wonderful time to get into metaphysics, anything in the, you know to do with astrology, tarot, numerology, anything that takes you more deeply into. Um, understanding life, you know, you may find a real interest of yours to go more deeply into that and bring more meaning into your daily life. On the 22nd of the month, we've got a full moon happening in your money house, uh, Leo. So we've got Jupiter there as well. So this is a, a wonderful year where, you know, you may find that money's coming in more. It's also probably going out a little bit more. But the full moon here shining a light on you financially. So um, could be a, a project that's come to completion. You're getting paid. Uh, could be payday. Uh, maybe um, you've uh, been studying for something and you now finally can practice. You get some certification to be able to practice and earn some more money. But certainly this is a focus on your uh, finances and also on looking at how you value yourself. Are you valuing what you do and what you give enough? And this may be affecting your finances in some way. So that too may be triggered by that full moon in your second house. So there you have your forecast for this month. Thank you for commenting, sharing, subscribing. And if you haven't already signed up for my free newsletter, you might like to do that because every uh, two weeks I give you some uh, new astrological updates. Have a great month. Bye for now.